Hello and welcome along. Today on Snetterton's farm, we are going to be using the Crone Big M here to do some mowing. Uh, we're heading over to field one, which is, yeah, which is this field here, uh, which is fairly small, uh, but should do the trick. Uh, and then after that, we're going to go and do field 10. So that'll be both our grass fields done. Uh, hopefully we can make some hay and some silage off these two fields. Uh, we're going to, uh, so we'll be using our pickup, but whether we get to that today, I don't know. Uh, but let's get started. Uh, so we'll start this up. And this is our nice, this is our nice big M. It's a good piece of kit, this. And, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for an American map to try this out on. So we will unfold it. It's not going to have much power doing this. Yeah, there we go. Right. And while that is unfolding, there we go. Reverse up slightly. Turn it on. Drop it down. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Away we go. So it also creates a nice windrow for us. Uh, which is why we don't actually have a windrow on this map. Because we have no need of one at the moment. Uh, we're also not making bales. Uh, not making silage bales on this either. So, uh, yeah. We're going to be doing silage via the uh, silage clamps so we may until uh, we actually get our cows and uh, or until we get to the point where we have all of this available to us uh, we may need to do some work with the um, or we may need to go and buy some bales so I might go and do that off camera a bit so that we have make sure we have enough we are making good amount of money at the moment the cows are bringing in a decent load uh, and we do have a solar panel to it, so. we've not got an issue with money it's uh, but we do seem to spend it fairly quickly we do have 80,000 at the moment which is a good position to be in this works well this grow this works very well just going to line that up there. And once I've got clear of the gates, I'm going to lift this up. And we can line back up to the end here. This is going to chomp through here in no time, which is fantastic. Of course, tethering uh, this will cause it to muck up a little bit, but not so wide that our baler can't pick it up. So I think what we're going to do is probably a tether this field and, uh, and then we will look to uh, silage bale the other one. Or silage uh, clamp the other one, sorry. This is working well. Nice level of grass. We are on the last day of spring. We've got everything planted now. Uh, so I've planted two fields of potatoes. Uh, so we've got those to have later in the year. And we've got plenty of corn, so uh, one of our fields of corn will be going to silage, the other will be going to storage to feed the pigs. Down. I don't think I've gone around the edge enough times. We're cutting in a bit early. front item or the front mower 
We're doing all right, but it is, yeah. You can see there's a little patch we're leaving, so I need to put the front mower down a little earlier, I think. go down at the same time on this piece of kit. Yeah, it's definitely the right size mower for this map. Nice big American map. Mowing with a big M. Will this get through the this? No, it won't. I'm going to have to come back and get that little bit along the edge. Only rows what you've actually been cutting. There we go. Right, so we are going to go and do field 10 now. Let's turn these off. Right, and field 10 is through the other side of the cows, I think. Yeah, let's wait, let's have a look. Uh, field 10, we can get into. Oh, I think we might get into further down. Looking at that. I know. Here we go. Here's where we get into field 10. Pull it out. Right, we will go round this twice. getting a pretty good yield off this, which is good news. Ah, we've got an entrance up this top corner as well. That's good. Uh, we do need to feed the, um, the cows and the sheep some grass directly. So we're going to fill a trailer full of this field and feed the cows. We'll probably do that in this episode. If we get, if we get this field cut, uh, then we'll do that in this episode. And then next time we will uh, do the tethering and the baling and, uh, and the cracks. We have a great demand for milk. Now, the interesting thing is, I'm selling milk automatically on this at the moment. Uh, I don't have the stock milk sales, so I don't know whether that will actually affect it. That will be interesting. Uh, yeah, the other thing we're missing is pig food. So I think what we're going to end up doing 
is we're going to end up buying a load of pig food to make sure we, we can feed the pigs until we've done uh, the summer harvest. Uh, we're going to have plenty of grass on this. So uh, the sheep are going to be good for a while. Uh, the cows also should be good for a while because we should be able to uh, create some mixed ration uh, along with uh, we should soon be able to create some mixed ration along with giving them some grass grass will be good for them at the moment right. uh, let's go around again so, just line up then give us enough space to turn around, which is what we didn't have in the other field. And, uh, yeah, we'll get the forage harvester out on here and uh, start collecting this grass up. Because that's the thing, with seasons, grass does not last long. So you need to, uh, you can't stop pilots at all and grass bales tend to disintegrate fairly quickly. So the grass you have when you do it, you need to feed to the animals pretty much immediately. Uh, and then you've got other grass uh, and then the remains of your grass. If you want to store grass to feed to the animals, you need to store it as hay. Uh, so that's why we're t uh, converting field one to hay. And then everything else off this field, we will turn to um, uh, we will turn to silage, uh, and hopefully we'll get a large amount of silage. But I need to. I've only got one silage clump here for the cows. So what I'm going to need to do is make sure that I uh, that I have enough to keep going. Right, uh, longest side is north-south of this field. So that's the way we will go. I think it's north-south. Yeah, north-south on this field. There's not a lot in it. So we'll do that. We'll go north-south on this. everything in it. <laughs> I missed a little bit. We can go back and cut that. Or maybe just leave it. A bit more overlap this time. And there we go. That's much more overlap. Definitely get it. I'm not looking in cabinets. Wow, that's... Uh, actually far, fairly hard to tell how close to the edge you are. I guess driving one of these in real life you get fairly used to where it is. And you can certainly tell when it's put down the mower's quicker, right? Round. 
can. Yeah, you see, we're not far enough over this time. See that? I could actually see that fairly easily. Let's see how far we are. Yeah, see, we've only got about half a mile overlap there. It does, it does work really nicely, this. I can tell I've actually been mowing. The problem I was having on Pembroke at the weekend was I couldn't see where I'd actually cut very easily. This is, uh, this is cutting very nicely. Hopefully it'll grow back in time later in the year. We'll do another cut come midsummer and uh, and hopefully one late autumn. And with any luck then, that means that our sheep and our cows should have grass for at least half the year. Depending on how full this is. We'll go and give it to the sheep first because the cows will take more. And I don't want the cows taking everything. Uh, and leaving the sheep without anything. Although admittedly I can feed the sheep hay or grass. Whereas cows have hay and grass as separate items. Right, there we go. Down we are. So we'll probably end this with the forage harvester and start the next one with the forage harvester. Right, and one more row. There we are. Okay, so we'll take this back now and go and get our forage harvester and one of our tracks we'll use follow me just to just to get the first strip i think uh, which tracks to have i think we'll use the t double actually a good track for carting with let's fold this all up and then we'll bring the forage harvester back here Oh, I'm looking backwards, that's why. No. That's weird. Okay, the camera's not in a great place. Oh, there's a there's a bug with it. Oh, that's unfortunate. You can't drive at any kind of speed in this because the camera goes through the back of the chair and you can't see to drive. That's a pity. I have seen that happen on a couple of the helicopters. I haven't seen it happen on one of the vehicles yet. I know there is a fix in GE to do that. I'm slightly surprised the mod creator didn't test that. Right. So park that here. And then we want the New Holland here. pick up Heather. I'm going to park this on the road and then go and get the T-Dub. Park this here. Now, and then over here is our TW35. Oh, 
perfect charts for this job. This is one of our less powerful tractors on the farm, but it, it does serve this purpose quite well. We'll use one of our western trailers for this job as well. Go right. This following is good. to unfold the pickup. There we go. Okay, and we'll put you slightly behind. He's at 40%, so we should get a trailer full just going around the edge of this field. We'll see how far that goes. And how well that does. I normally prefer to have the tractor on the outside of my turns because obviously there are crashes that can so easily happen if they're not. Uh, but obviously when you're doing the first round of the field, that's not really possible. 90%, 92, 93, 94, 96. 99 perfect right there we go so we'll turn the follow me off on this and stop the harvester and we'll go and tip this in the sheep so we have 21,000 liters of grass here hopefully this will be enough 
to get our sheep and our uh, cows producing well again. Uh, our sheep actually have produced a lot of wool. We need to uh, sort of move some of that. will earn us a lot of money as well. We're, we're at, uh, money wise we're doing really well on here. Um, I think it's partly because we have a lot of cows. Uh, but we can plough all of that back into the farm which is great. And uh, what we're looking to do is expand the farm and buy more fields. So if we can buy more fields then, uh, then that will be a great help. I need to work work out which ones to buy, but they're not cheap fields on this map, so yeah, plenty of fields to buy when we can. Right, so that I think is our feeding trough. So we'll back this. Trailer full of grass up to it. Tip tells me I can tip. There we go. That's going into there quite nicely. They've had enough. So we'll go and put the rest of this in the cows. And, uh, and see how that does them. That should certainly sort out our sheep. Uh, yep, we're 96% on the wool and we've added another sheep. So we have 100 sheep, 100 and, 103 sheep, 110 cows. Don't know how many pigs we have. Their productivity is dropping, so I'm guessing they really, really need feeding. So I may have to get hold of some pig food. I do. I think I do still have some in the mixer. So I may have some that I can uh, mix up from the store. But yeah, okay, we're, we're focusing a bit on the grass work at the moment. Uh, if this feeds our cows for three days as well, what that means is we will very very easily be able to uh, turn the rest of it into silage I'll get that and we'll get that going as quickly as possible hopefully it will fill the silo 10% not we may have to cut the cows field as well we do have a lot of cows as I said Ooh. Right, so how's that done us for the cows? I think next time our first load may also have to go to the cows. Grass, yes. So our first load next time will also go to the cows. Uh, but for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time. Goodbye.